All right, I guess I'll start it off. Um, we all know why we're here. Uh, we just selected uh, Peter Skaronski with the 11th overall pick. Um, you know, Peter checks all the boxes for us, you know, and what we're looking for in our offensive line and what we're looking forward to bringing in our program. Uh, he was a guy that, um, you know, truth be told, we targeted from the very beginning. Didn't know that if he was going to be there or not, so we had other contingency plans just in case. And we got lucky, and he was there. And so it made the pick real easy for us to pull off at 11. So, Mike, nothing. Well, I would just say I want to thank you know, Rand, his staff, our coaches, you know, for putting a lot of work in, uh, not only on Peter, but this entire draft. Um, so far, an amazing process, you know, exactly you know, where we were yesterday in some of the, the scenarios, um, our communication. I have absolutely enjoyed it uh, thus far. We're, we're getting a fantastic player, uh, a physical player, a violent player. He's got versatility. And uh, th those are things that we covet and uh, with the durability. I, I know when he grabs people, most of the time they stop moving. So that, that, that's really a good thing for an offensive lineman. Teresa? Mike, that's the thing. It may not be a sexy pick going for offensive linemen, but 49 sacks allowed last year. How important is it to protect the quarterback? We, we've said uh, since the end of the season, during the season, multiple times, numerous times, we, we have to do a better job protecting our quarterback. And uh, you know, we've set out to do that, you know, not only by improvement, uh, but in the offseason and, and some of the, the free agent acquisitions, uh, but also tonight. And uh, you have to be able to do that. And this isn't just a pass protector. This is, a, this is an all-around um, very, very good football player, a very good offensive lineman. Did you guys talk to, to Arizona, anybody else, about moving up with a quarterback in play? Um, if you guys remember uh, when we spoke, I guess it was Monday, and I told you guys about everybody being nosy, you know, that included me. <laughs> so, you know, you have to know all the scenarios um, above you, below you. You know, so we called everybody, um, whether it was teams above us, teams below us, just exploring to see where we were going to be. Um, and it's funny, you know, Mike and I, we were just talking about it downstairs, how they came off is about how we predicted and where we thought was going to be there for us at 11 to choose from. Um, we did think Peter was going to go a little higher um, than expected, but we would have loved for him to fall to us, and he did. Really just going to play him at offensive line to start and see where we go and see where we feel like he can best help the football team, where he can be best help himself. We haven't targeted him anywhere. Um, really, when we've set out to, to talk about this offseason, we wanted to identify speed, violence, and versatility. Uh, and he checks those boxes. And we'll, we'll kind of let that um, materialize as we work through the offseason and at training camp. and. You know, that's when the offensive line is going to come together. We've talked about that as in the training camp. You figure, Mike, in the end, between Dillard and Skronsky, one's at left tackle, one's at left guard? Well, we hope that they both are, are going to be able to contribute. I mean, obviously, that's, that's why we've made the acquisition we did in the offseason, and that's why we made the pick that we made tonight. Um, we've played against teams that, that have really good lines of scrimmage, and, and, and I'm, I'm glad that Rayan feels the same way that – that we do um, is that that line of scrimmage is critical in this league. And, and you see what, what some of those guys have to block across from them and, and Peter and, and hopefully the rest of these guys as they come in here uh, and, and develop and gel uh, are going to be able to, to do that for us. Grant, you mentioned volume at different positions and how like, at later you can get guys who have similar value. If you take taking Skaronski at 11, what is it that you feel separates him from the other tackles or guards in the draft? Well, I think the thing about uh, Peter and what Mike was saying is his versatility. You know, and when he grabs people, you know, for the most part, they stop, you know, when he gets his hands on guys. So, you know, uh, whatever his length is, is his length, but he played at a high productive level um, using that same length uh, to stop people. Um, and again, it's, it's another way for us to add not only a good football player, but a good person. You know, he's a, a consummate pro even in college, you know, the way he carried himself. And, you know, that was just – he just made it a, a comfortable and easy pick for us to pull off the board. When you mentioned the length, are you referring to the arm Yeah, because that was the – you know, that was the pre-draft notion from, you know, everybody, can he play tackle? And it wasn't because he wasn't successful playing tackle in college. It was because of the quote-unquote desired arm length. You know, so we know at the end of the day we got a good football player that is going to be productive wherever he plays.
Um, nothing. Com communicate with my partner. You know, we we talked throughout. You know, we were doing a countdown. Hey, we're three out. We're two out. You know, we're one out. Here's this scenario. Here's that scenario. Um, it helped having his, you know, his uh, leadership and his veteran knowledge of how to work a draft. So it made it easy. And like we talked about the other day, you know, us being, you know, locked in that room together, going through that board, you know, working through discrepancies that we may have had, whether it was our scouts, whether it was our coaches, or whether it was ourselves, you know, put everything into vision for us. So when that pick came, we knew immediately we didn't have to have much conversation, just a quick, hey, we're good, and we were good. And so it, it made it easy. Everybody's been asking me how I feel, you know, am I excited and all those things. Um, you know, I've been telling everybody the same thing. I think about, you know, you score your first touchdown and you dance and you celebrate and most coaches will pull you to the side and say, act like you've been there before. So this I approach today as if I've been there before. I told Rand, you never forget your first, though. So we, <laughs> we laughed about that. Um, and, and just to echo that, it, it was easy. There was a comfort to it, having worked through those scenarios um, up and down. And, and so, like, like he said, it, it kind of happened. And here we were. And, you know, I was hoping it, there, it just it kind of came to us and it was easy. So that was probably the, the best part of this entire process is having, you know, spent those last couple hours uh, yesterday uh, just him and I putting everybody's thoughts together and, and everybody's vision together for, for these players. How has Peter worked through the short arms and over, overcome that? What's, what's a guy with shorter arms do? Uh, uh, great footwork. Uh, he's square, plays square. Um, he's got, uh, he's strong. He's got, he, you can watch some of these clips and, you know, these are 280 pound guys, 270 pound guys uh, rushing on the edge or, or blocking down on a three technique. And he gets his hands on you. They, they, for the most part, uh, they don't go very far. And uh, I think he uses his his mind. I mean, he's intelligent. Uh, it, there's a lot of things you can do to, to make up for you know not having 35 inch arms, which you know very few tackles have. And so it's angles, uh, it's strength, it's body control, it's playing square, uh, and, and and being able to move his feet. Talked the other day about the value of getting face-to-face -face time with these prospects. What did you learn about Peter when you got with him in the pre-draft, and just kind of how did that inform the pick? So we met with Peter um, at the combine. You know, felt really good about him, um, and then our O-line coach Haas, you know, went to the pro day and spent time with him. Um, again, the player and the person, you know, checked all the boxes for us. So we felt like who he was and what he brings here was easy. As a, if he ends up playing inside a guard. How good is he at getting to the second level and unblocking like you guys like the guards do? Good. I mean, when the, when any offensive line uh, lineman for us is uncovered, there's there's times where, you know, they're going to have to play in space. You know, whether that's at the second level or that's pulling. You know, and those, you know, what we would call movement blocks. And I mean, he's there's very very proficient. It's not like he hangs his hat on one thing. This isn't just a a player that's just a, a, a one-trick player. Uh, he's a complete offensive lineman coming out of college, and there'll be a lot of things that, that he's going to have to learn and that we're going to have to to help him learn uh, and continue to develop him and maybe some of the tricks of the trade. But I, I don't think that there's any concern uh, with Peter's ability to, to move and, and, and block in space or on the edge. Did you check your box, you check your box about being a blue player, the blue play right away? Yes, he, he is that. and. Hence why he goes at 11. You mentioned uh, you know, being nosy and, and checking things out with the calls <laughs> and so forth. With the proximity you guys had to the top of the draft this year and the, and the quarterbacks that were up there, you know, was there much of a temptation in your mind to kind of take? I mean, again, it goes to what we were talking about earlier this week, uh, trusting the board. And that's, that's exactly what we did. He was a player that, like I said, we covered it and we didn't think would be there. And so when he was there and where we had him slotted, it was, it was an easy pull because we trusted not only our communication, but we trusted our board. Michael, you look at what came into the division in front mm -hmm. of particularly two young quarterbacks. Um, are you thinking defensively about stopping those guys? Or are you thinking offensively about matching what those guys might be? Uh, yeah, you don't think uh, we thought that way. I think we, we obviously, um, want to improve our football team and you know we're not setting out to 
you know, obviously we have a goal every year. We want to win the division and host uh, home playoff games and, and win championships. But that I don't think that ever crossed uh, our mind is that, hey, we have to go get somebody to, you know, to, to stop whatever rookie quarterback. You know, we, we're trying to build a team, a complete team. We have a lot of work to do. Uh, we're just getting started. Um, but I think it's a great start. There were, there's a lot of players in this draft I like, and there's a lot of players that Rand likes and that we both like. Um, you know, I, I think you know, we're, we're going to continue to try to find players at all levels, quarterbacks, running backs, receivers, defensive linemen. So we, we ended up where we were. We, we stuck, and we knew this was a player that when we said if we were going to stay there and pick, uh, Peter Skronsky is going to be one of those players. You guys have both talked about speed, offensive line speed, probably not the first place you think of. Is that remain obviously a big deal going into tomorrow now? Yeah, but we've talked about our play. We've talked to our players already, the, the ones that we have on the roster, about um, the ability to play fast and the ability to, to be and, and get timed fast. So we're, we're going to find a way to get them to play faster. Uh, and then we're going to target some players that have speed, but at, at his position, you know, this is a fast player, plays fast, you know, isn't uh, unsure of what he's supposed to do uh, when, you know, he, he goes and hits somebody and, and, and blocks a guy and keeps him away from the quarterback. Well, I think Rand, you know, Rand caught him at the pizzeria. <laughs> they were probably had some pitchers. Um, <laughs> and, and he congratulated him, obviously. Um, I, I thanked him, um, you know, for the way that he played. I uh, told him that uh, the reason that he was, was in this position was for the, those people around him uh, and that he should be gracious and he should always, you know, remember to put the team first and come in here and, and be ready to get to work.